Welcome back to another Blender tutorial. This is Cinti Characters and Posable Eyebrows. Uh, it's basically picking up if you've po added Posable Mouth, Posable Eyes. We're just going to quick add some Posable Eyebrows. We'll go ahead and we'll get started. We're going to highlight our mesh. We're going to go into Edit Mode. And we want to highlight specifically, let's take it out. We've got to highlight just the mesh in Object Mode. Now we go to edit mode. We want to split this one so it's its own individual. We're going to separate by selection. Um, everything is red. There's no blue. That's how we know we were successful. Back over into object mode. We'll select our bones. Switch back to edit mode. We're going to control using this one. You can rename. The eyebrows, you don't really need to. We're not mirroring anything on this one. I like the cleaner look instead of the lowercase. With that renamed, we'll just rotate this along the x axis. We're going to scale it down a little bit and then move it back and up as well. This is going to be a controller much like our eyes here. I'm going to duplicate it. Move it along the X. Switch to the side and rotate again on the X axis. We're going to bring it down a bit. And let's scale this down a bit. Duplicate, move it along the X to the other side. It's probably easier to see from the top down. And we'll duplicate one more time, move it along the X to the center, and move it along to the Y toward the front. We're going to highlight these three bones, shift select the top controller one, parent, keep offset. So now these three bones will follow this one. We're going to go back into object mode. So you can click tab, select your eyebrows, which should be separate now. Shift select your bones, parent with automatic weights. Now if we go into pose mode, you should have eyebrows that move up and down. You can kind of pose from different sections. You can give them some angry eyebrows. however you want to do it. All we have to do now is put everything back. So we'll go back into object mode. We'll highlight our eyes first. We'll go into edit. Actually we can leave this in object mode. Click G. Move them along the Y. Along the Y. All right, and we're going to select our armature. Once we've gotten them roughly positioned, we will select all the eye bones here. We're just going to click G along the Y. You can see we're going for... They should have disappeared. We can also take a peek and see exactly where they're at. Looks pretty good. While we're in here, we'll just move this one back a little bit. It doesn't need to be in the center there. We've got everything we need to control it out here. Grab this one as well, the eyebrows. Bring those back a little. And then we'll go from top down view. Maybe it'll give us a better. Not really. Let's go on the Y here. And that looks pretty good. Forward just a hair. All right, now we should have a completely posable armature here. Eyes move, eyebrows move. You can give them a surprise look, give them an angry look if you want. 
you can add additional controllers to control each of these individual bones. Again, this was just kind of a short, easy one. Um, I can show you one other way to do the eyebrows. So this was a different way I had done the eyebrows. I had split them to give them not the unibrow look. And as you can see, when, when I click on the armatures here, I'm going to edit mode. You can get a better view of the, let's go object mode. You can see I had given each eyebrow two bones here. So it gives you a little bit more control in pose mode. I can lift up just a certain section. Make him look a little grumpy if I want. Give him a raised eyebrow. Or you can control both. So I hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions, please leave some comments. And thanks for watching.